everyone, it's me, Peter at Paradise, and today's video is Tips on Keeping Your Hamster Nails Trim. This was requested by Cheyenne Stitchcomb. So it's very important your hamster nails are trimmed in some way, as hamster nails will constantly grow, and if not trimmed, will overgrow and will appear long and curved. Hamster nails should only be a few millilitres in length and no longer. If too long, can make it hard for them to walk properly, and it can be painful for them. There are a few simple trimming tips that I recommend. Some great trimming tools are... Nail clippers. Of course, everyone knows what these are, and they are a very common way to trim hamster nails, but they are not the best or safest way, and most hamster owners prefer not to use these, as they can be quite scared to. Because hamsters can be very fidgety when through the clipping process, most won't just sit there and not move a muscle and let you have all the time in the world to trim their nails. Instead, they'll want to escape from your hands and explore, as they will find it boring and will get impatient from just sitting and keeping still for a long time. But also, it can be very stressful on them too. Also, keep in mind their nails are very small, so you're most likely going to cut the quick or afraid that you will. Never cut the quick. The quick is the pink bit just above the white nail. So make sure to cut the white part and not the pink part. If caught, it will not only cause pain, but it will also cause an excessive amount of bleeding. If this is the case, then dabbing on some flour or baking powder can help stop the bleeding. It can be very hard to use nail clippers, and they are some of the reasons why people prefer not to. However, there are a few simple and safe but natural tips that will do the trimming job for you without you having to worry about harming them. So here are a good few trimming tips. A sanitised rock. You will need a washing up bowl or dish, a rock, just make sure it's not been sprayed with chemicals or pesticides, washing up liquid, white vinegar, a scrubbing brush or toothbrush and a tea towel or towel. Next, fill the dish with hot water. It's best to use hot water as the hot temperature will kill any harmful outside bacteria which could harm your hamster. So this kills the bacteria on the rock. By using cold water will only slow down bacteria but not kill them, so that's why it's best to use boiling hot. After, pour the liquid into the water, then stir it around to balance it, making a soapy solution. Next, you'll need to place the rock in the water and scrub all over the rock to get any mud and bacteria from outside off. After, rinse under hot tap to wash away any of the soap, soapy essences and flavour. Afterwards, empty out the soapy water from the bowl, then pour some white vinegar into the washing up bowl, enough to cover and coat the rock in the vinegar solution. Then place your rock in the vinegar solution and cover the rock in white vinegar. Afterwards, leave to soak for 10 minutes. As vinegar is acidic, this will kill any bacteria that may have been left behind. Lastly, rinse under cold tap to rinse off the strong scent of white vinegar, Cold water at this point is needed as rocks contain heat very well and don't forget your rock would have been sitting in boiling hot water and well you don't want your hamster to burn so a little cold rinse at the end is needed to cool down the rock. Then leave the rock to dry out in the sun or rub it dry with a towel. All of this will sanitise it making it perfectly safe for your hamster. Once sanitised you can put it in your hamster's cage. Ideally it's best to put it where your hamster goes the most so for example under a water bottle as they'll have to climb on the rock to get to the bottle. Although I wouldn't advise this for old hamsters. Just make sure it's placed in a very usable area. Rocks are very rough, so when they climb on the rock, their nails will put pressure against the rough surface and this will gently trim the tips of their nails. If you leave it in there most of the time, then each time they climb on it, they should be trimming their nails down slightly, but quite often. So this has to be one of the best tips you can use and I would recommend. Next, you can use something as simple as bathing sand. This may sound not very useful, but surprisingly it is. As sand is very gritty, it has hard tiny pieces, so when your hamsters are walking or digging in the sand, your hamsters nails will rub on the rough surface, giving their nails a little trim on the tips. So this method works great too. You can even use bogwood, which you can buy from pet shops in the reptile section. Place this in their cage in a usable area. Again, this has a hard surface, so when your hamster climbs on it, the nails will rub against the hard surface, causing their nail tips to trim. This is mostly used as decoration, but as you can see, this has a great trimming use too. You can also use any wooden coconut hard types, such as bridges, tunnels and hideouts. Again, when your hamster walks on them, their nails will press and rub against the hard wooden surface, causing their nail tips to trim over time. 
Lastly, you can use sandpaper, and just a little piece is all you need. Then fit this into the width of the wheel. It has a very gritty rough surface, so when they're running on it, they'll be putting a huge amount of pressure on the paper, which will trim their nails down. Just make sure you don't put it in there for too long though, only around 5 minutes, as it can hurt their paws over a period of time. You also must be supervising them while they're running on it, in case of any accidental injuries. So they are the best trimming tips you can use. If you have done all of the following, you should notice a slight difference in your hamster's nails. Hope these tips helped any hamster owners out there who may be concerned or wondering what they can do to trim their hamster's nails. So that's the video guys, see you in the next one, bye!